If you like this makeup look, just keep watching and I'll show you how to get it. First, I'm going to start out with my Primed and Poreless Primer by Too Faced. And I just use a little dab. Some people put it all over their face. I just put it on the T-zone area. And this is just great for a basic foundation for your makeup to help it last longer. Especially if you're using a liquid foundation. I tend to not get as oily when I use the primer and then apply the rest of my makeup. All right, for a foundation, I have Neutrogena Healthy Skin. Shake that up real good. And I like to apply it with a sponge. Next, I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil, and it's just a powder that comes in one color because it's really not supposed to deposit color onto your face. It's just supposed to set your foundation. So I like to use a brush to apply this, and you just... Add it in. I'm going to take some blush. This is just Neutrogena Healthy Skin Custom Glow Blush and Bronzer. And I'm just going to get both together and tap off the excess and apply that just along that line where a lot of people contour I'm gonna fill in my brows and I was using this NYX brow pencil but it ran out fairly quickly um, and so, as an alternative, I have this Lorac Matte Brown Eyeshadow in Smoking, and this works amazing. I just take the brush of the eye crayon and just dip it, kind of tap it into the eyeshadow and apply it to my brows, and it works amazing. And because it's a powder, it gives it that feathery look, almost like hair, rather than a harsh line that can appear when you use a pencil or a crayon. I'm eyes with NYX eyeshadow base, and this is in the color Skin Tone, and you just want to put that all over your lid and up into your brow bone anywhere where you are going to apply your shadow some people even like to bring it down around here that color called all natural and i'm basically just going to apply this to my entire eyelid and brow bone and it just kind of gives like a blank canvas it evens everything out so that the colors are gonna come across true to color on the lid of my eye I'm going to apply this Mac and it is the color free to be it's a matte pink color I'm 
Next, I'm going to use another matte color, Brown Script. It's also very matte. I'm going to take this and apply it to the outer half of my lid. color is called Antique. It's this pretty brown with a bit of a shimmer so it's not a matte color like the previous two. And I'm going to go in my crease with this and bring it out to the outer corner V. Then I'm going to grab a Q-tip and kind of clean up that line above it and the V. The Q-tips are a great way to do this. To kind of clean up any uneven edges. Prefer always using liquid liner for the lining of the top of the eye just because it seems to seriously last all day and there's no smudging. on Colors Day liquid eye pen and I really love these pens better than the brush and like the little gel pot. It cuts down on an extra step and you don't have a brush that you have to clean and keep up with. Now I'm going to line the inside of my eye, the waterline, with a white crayon by NYX. And that helps to just brighten the eye up. But I'm going to take my L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner and apply it to my lower lash line. And this is a good smudging eyeliner. And make sure you hit those lashes up top because of the extra little powder particles of eyeshadow that falls on your lashes. You want to make sure you coat the tops as well. Okay, here I'm applying concealer under my eyes. And a lot of people, you know, it's different if you want to put it on before like while you're doing your foundation and powder and just get the base down but it also helps to do it after you have done your eye makeup so you can clean up any of the powder that's fallen under your eyes and this is the Laura Geller Real Deal Concealer and it is serious coverage I love it and a little bit goes such a long way And then I'm going to go back in with Maroon Perfecting Veil Powder and just kind of set that. Now for the lips, apply some chapstick. This is just Burt's Bees. 
It is 100% natural beeswax chapstick. And for the lip liner, I have this pomegranate and it is by Model Company. I got it in one of those beauty subscription boxes. It is either like Birch Box or Beauty Box by. So I'm going to line my lips with this. I'm going to go in with this pretty bright color by um, Maybelline. It's Wild Rose number 875. I'm going to kind of gloss it up and give it a little bit of a pink shine. I'm going to go over it with my NYX. lip gloss and this is the color Lindsay and it's a sparkly light pink it's the plump it up lip plumper but it doesn't do much plumping I just like to use it as a gloss and there you go all done